Shut that dog. We all right so far. In the name of our ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of what I call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper, the mighty one, angel number no. seven. I am also your soul brother number one. Now, before we get started in this very short, should be a very short commentary, don't take long to express how I feel on this topic. Those of you who are sensitive, those of you who are emotional when it comes to God and spirits and demons and hellfire and heaven and all that religious spirituality, all that type of thing. If you are sensitive about your belief system. First of all, I would suggest that you unsubscribe. I would suggest that you unsubscribe because I am not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to put any butter on the bread. I'm not going to try to put some honey to make something sweet. We're going to have to bring it just the way that it is. And there is something that needs to be said over and over again. There's something that must be exposed about religion and spirituality and demons and hates and ghosts and oh, I forgot. This is October. Halloween. This is where folks get together to celebrate evil. Trick or treat. If you don't give me a, a treat, I'm going to trick you. I'm going to do something bad to you. Throw eggs on your car, on your house, toilet paper all over your trees. This is what we're off into. And these people are spending buku money on pumpkins. Look, this is just Halloween. We're not, we're not talking about Thanksgiving and we're not talking about Christmas. The American public, self-righteous, I love everybody. This public, fake-ass America, how can you sleep at night spending money for pumpkins that you're not going to eat candy your children you don't need they already have hella dental bills they already eat too much damn candy and cake and sweets and you already fake you already wear a costume every day when you go to the job and pretend you like going to work you pretend you like your like your job and you smile and you skin and grin so you already wear a costume every day When you go to work, when you say good morning to your neighbor and you hate your and you hate your neighbor's guts, y'all fake ass people. Cause your uh, cause your neighbor's dog left a left left your present early in the morning. So you already wear your fake ass costume every day. So we, not we. But many of you, because the children need something to do, 
We want to celebrate murder and evil. That's what you want to do with the children. And then you wonder why they got ADHD or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Because technically, sugar is a drug. It's classified, really, as a drug. And you and the children and America is high. Do your research and look it up. You will see that the same way that sugar is refined and processed, a lot of your drugs are processed in the same manner. So look, again, if you are sensitive about your religion, because I don't want to hear, well not hear, don't write in my chat room crying, oh, you're disrespectful. I don't want to hear that nonsense because I have nothing against you. I have something against a belief system, a mindset that is a lie. And if you support that, then you become a liar too. So I don't want you around me anyway. You are a liar and you fake. Kick rocks, get the hell off my platform. It's simple as that. What you, why are you listening to me anyway? Why are you here on my platform? You already know how this uh, platform feels about religion and spirituality and other belief nonsense. I started to be quiet for a little bit. What's up there, Rowan? Yeah, I started to be quiet for a little bit. But some people left things on my page, on my on my some of my videos, and some of my uh, the few people that I listen to. Some of them believe in God. They are spiritual. And they began to tell a lie. They wrote a lie. It's a lie. On my videos, they made a statement in their video that the recent tornado the recent storms that just came through Dallas, State Fort Worth, Texas area. Hey there, Austin, Alistair. They are making a claim they are making a claim that God is punishing the state of Texas, Fort Worth, Dallas area especially, for the murder of that sister, Atania Jefferson, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, and uh, that brother Botham, Gene Botham, Botham John. This is God giving a wake-up call. <laughs> I know, I know, wrong. <laughs> they are saying that these storms is God reacting to the murder of black folks, especially these two persons that's been in the news. God is giving Fort Worth and Dallas a wake-up call that he that this God is not going to tolerate such activity. 
I got a problem. Because Fort Worth, the state of Texas, crossing border, entering Arkansas, the United States of America, I'm not talking about two people, God. We talking about thousands, if not millions, of soul brothers and sisters, African Americans, Aboriginals, whatever you want to call yourself. Where is the punishment, God, for a nation? I'm not talking about the state of Texas. I'm not talking about a little baby, a baby snow, uh, a thunderstorm, a little, a little tornado. We live in a nation that made it legal to murder, to harass, to enslave our ancestors and we're not doing too good ourselves. Way before, way before these particular people were killed. Matter of fact, if the police department, if the city of Dallas and Fort Worth or whatever, if they could have found, and they, and they did, if they could find some kind of way to weasel out of it, to blame the victim for their early demise, they would have done it. These people, these recent persons that was murdered, they were just too, too clean sitting in their house. And they didn't have time they didn't have time to set up a scenario where this thing could have been justified. Even so, you're going to tell this lie. You're a liar. I will apologize to you if you can prove other. You're a liar when you come to me and tell me God punished these people. So if this is the case, Why didn't God, okay, that Amber, what's her name, that Amber Geyer lady, why didn't the tornado come in and destroy the jail and kill that Amber Geyer lady? Why didn't that storm, why didn't that tornado hit the Fort Worth Dallas Police Department, turn over some cop cars or something? 65,000 don't have any power that didn't have nothing to do with these murders. You show me how your God is punishing the city of Fort Worth, Dallas. You're a liar. All kinds of people are being punished. Not only the, not only possible the perpetrators, but everybody. That's right, Don. What did God do for those in South Carolina when Dylan Roof came into a church and shot down these Christian brothers and sisters? right there in their church. There was no tornado, there was no earthquake, there was no flood, there was nothing. What did they do? Tornadoes, earthquakes, hurricanes been happening on this planet for, for whatever, for however, as long as men know. If you in the way, you in the way. I want to set up a live, I want to, I want to set up a live stream. And you can come on the live stream with your evidence. And I will not say a word. 
The floor is yours. And you show us how does God, what does, how does God use his power to do this? Now, we're not even talking about these two particular individuals. The state of Texas is known for killing folks in their penal system. How many innocent brothers and sisters is locked up in Texas right now? Somebody probably died yesterday. We don't even know nothing about it. But God know about it. You need to stop telling these lies. Either your God don't exist or your God has no power. One or the other. Or your God don't give a damn. You keep telling us about this power, this God, but you can't prove it. Like I say, if you live in Chicago in the middle of July and you say your God is angry and it starts to snow in the middle of July, now we can listen to you. Now you got some you got you got some kind of connection to a higher power if you can pull that one off. But we don't see that. You want to take natural things that just happen because they're going to happen and you want to give the credit to your God. If that's the case, I can do the same thing. Since you don't have to prove that God made a power, I can say that I've done it. Oh, you don't have it. How you know I don't have the power? Just like you can't prove your God did a damn thing, I won't be able to prove it. But since you want to give your God the credit, the next, the next earthquake, the next, the next hurricane, I'll, I'll take the credit. I don't have to prove nothing. Well, we know that you. No, yeah, I, I know your God ain't did a damn thing too. Your God has no more power than I do. Y'all a bunch of trifling, pathetic liars, and you're telling these children, innocent babies, you're forcing this lie on your children and anybody that will believe your lie. You are liars. Y'all religious folks, spiritual folks, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at here. There's a sister she has on her website. Hey, what's up there, twin? She's selling a, a money wand, a money stick. This, this stick is supposed to help you get money. And I told her, <laughs> if I buy this stick, cause I, because I, I definitely would like some money. If I buy this stick, is there a money back guarantee? She said no. Now that, what does that tell you? Because if it's a money stick, I can buy the money stick, the stick will, will make me some money, It'll pay for the it'll pay for the fact that I bought the stick to begin with, because it's gonna bring me money. But she knows, she knows that this stick is nothing but a piece of wood. It has no power. And this woman is selling all kinds of elixirs, all, all kinds of stuff that you drink, put on your body, and all kinds of potions and stuff. Y'all should be shaming yourself. 
Don't you know, all during slavery, we had all these different kinds of potions and magic sticks and gods and all this crap. Didn't do us no good. The only time, the only time anything changed for the slave was because these pinks had an internal war, the Civil War. If it wasn't for the Civil War, you'd probably be a slave right now. Because you make no attempt to free yourself. No attempt at all. And now here you are. They set you loose, they did not set you free. They set our people loose. You're not free. Because if you was free, you wouldn't be living with your enemy. There's nobody in their right mind gonna live with the people that oppress them, except us. As soon as the war was over, as soon as they got a chance, the Jews of the 1940s, they ready to get the hell out of Germany. Anybody that's abused, they ready to get the hell away from their oppressor. Here we are living with our oppressor. Ain't now you make it up a damn lie, you make it up a story that God is punishing. You shouldn't be living with your oppressor anyway. They gonna, these people are going to keep killing you. Yeah, they will. They're going to pay. They're going to give a little money to uh, the victim in this case. But a lot of y'all ain't going to get a dime. Ask Michael Brown family. Michael Brown family ain't get a dime. They gonna still keep. They gonna still keep murdering you. Been murdering you, going on 500 years. It's not gonna stop. You live with your enemies, and it's so good. The murder is so good. You start killing yourself. Wow, that look good. That look really exciting. Killing black folk. Let me take a gun and kill me some black people too. <laughs> <laughs> not only do you have to worry about a racist cop or some pink person you can't even walk around your own neighborhood your own folks will kill you we live in the same place that was created for your death it was not created for your life. So some of us, we get a little, we get a little money and we're we're comfortable. You got your little car, you got your little college degree on the wall, you got the information, you do your research, I, you know all that, you're comfortable. God bless America, land that I love, and you do. And you do. This is not to say America is the only place I ever know. But at the same time, somebody treating you worse than, than an atom. And I have people actually coming to me. We're supposed to tolerate that. You need to be kicking these people in their ass or you need to be leaving. That's what you need to do. It's embarrassing. How can you, as a man, 
I'm gonna say this and need to get out of here. These men call themselves men. And you sit here in America and you just watch your children, your mother, your wife and your daughters and your children. We get murdered all the time. By, by racist pinks, by pinks, and other crazy Negroes. And the only thing we wanna do, only thing we gonna do is sit back and cry. That's all we do. But you wanna be called a man. You want women to respect you. And for 500 years, the only thing we can do is make a damn YouTube video and try to be smarter than the next coward. I don't know how you can do it. I don't know how you can do, do that. And you wonder why the women and the children the way they do because they have no men that stand up for them you have to sit around here and you know if you are if you're murdered if you're killed you're discriminated against or whatever men are not gonna do nothing you on your own. So why would these women, why should they look up to the brothers when you can't do a damn thing for her except give her a penis? That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Oh, and you can tell her about what this God gonna do for black folks. The same nothing this God has done for the whole 500 years we've been here. Your planet X and your energy turning and your energy turning into some kind of conscious being all this nonsense that y'all believe in, none of it has done nothing for us. None of it. And you know it has not done anything. So you want me to be quiet. Because it's because when you hear me speak, you really embarrassed by it. Cause you know it's a lie, and I know it's a lie. Don't you know, I would be so happy to have a God with power on my side. I would be a very happy, happy camper. I surely would. I would love it. I would hope that maybe this weekend, sometime, myself and Sister Noble, Sister Noble wrote a very wonderful article. She entitled it, let me, let me see if I can get this right. About God, the false advertising of God. And she really gets down in this article. Go to her website, ancientcreationmyths.com, and check that out. Check her article out. Because she is on point. God has been falsely advertised. You say that God has power. You are liar. You say that God is a, loves us. You are a liar. God is, is a murderer. 
God is egotistical, jealous, envious, a murderer. Oh man. Absolutely done. Brother Don talks about all these weak ass dudes talking about they need a submissive a woman. Nobody in their right mind, unless they brainwashed by this religious garbage, will submit to your pathetic ass. Submit to you for what? Now, whether, whether you like it or not, this pink racist man, he earned, he earned his respect. He came to North America, kicked all these folks in the ass, and many of, many of them died to do that. But those men got the job done and so they run this and if they want to kill you every day that's what they would do see that's what you don't understand if the right circumstance happened in the world they're going to show you the real deal they'll kill you every day like they used to do Let's make America great again. Put these Negroes back in their, in, their, in their right place. Let's take all... <laughs> Ooh, man, oh man. You don't think it can happen. The right thing happened in the world. They could come in and take everything you got. Take your little college degree off the wall and burn it up. Take all your money out your bank account. Put you back on the plantation where you belong. And there's nothing that you can do about it. You're not unified. You think everything is a joke. You're not serious about nothing. You used to think about, I wonder how it was to be a slave. You don't have to think about it no more. Your happy ass will be right back in the field, picking cotton or tomatoes or cleaning out the chicken coop or whatever these folks want you to do because there's nothing that you can do about it. You're helpless. We are the most vulnerable group in the United States of America because I don't need you and you don't need me. <laughs> We're going to see how far that mentality gets you. I feel sorry for these children because they depend on us so they can have a better future. And us ain't doing a damn thing. The only thing us want to do is take care of what we think we want right now. If they survive, I would suggest to future generations, if you survive, especially this generation here, wipe them off your calendar. Take them out of your history books. We don't exist because we have failed you and we knew better but didn't want to do better because we wait no God, we wait no Farrakhan, we wait no Tariq Nasheed, 
we waiting on some kind of special education or some other nonsense. Keep waiting. Same way they've been waiting on Jesus for the last 2,000 years. This God has done nothing. Stop telling that lie. I hate liars. You are a liar. You are an outright liar. You cannot prove that God is punished Fort Worth, Dallas for those for those uh, murders. You are a liar. It's just a thunderstorm and it traveled. It went from it went from Fort Worth, Dallas and it kept on going across the Midwest. So sick of y'all. It's childish. Immature. You might as well believe in Santa Claus. You might as well all your gods. Allah, Jesus, Yashara, whatever these gods are. Your spirituality, your demons, all the stuff that y'all talking about. It has no power. The only thing you do is talk about what God can do, but you can never show the power. Never. Like I said, I would be happy. You can come here and, and speak and show your proof, and I won't say a word. You're not going to be able to show nothing. You're not going to be able to prove nothing. Except the usual feel good rhetoric, feel good talk. That's all. You might as well believe in Barney, Barney the dinosaur. That's right. That's right, Don. Don says. All these people speaking for God. Why can't God speak for, for him or herself for a change? I don't need to listen to you about God. Well, you got to open up your heart. That's easy to do. I'm opening up my heart. Come on, God. Right now on this live stream. Come on and talk to us. So I can shut up. I would I would be happy to start talking like this. I sure would. I'm like, wow, y'all. God came to the live stream. <laughs> what can I say? It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. And you know this. The number one reason why you can't get black folks, soul brothers and sisters, to, to do nothing, because they caught up in these religious spiritual lies. Some, some alien, some spook is gonna come and save us. Some black messiah, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. But uh I just wanted to put that out there. Hebrew Israelites, all that stuff, all that comedic stuff. All that whack art, uh, RBG Nation and Black Ferns, all of it is, all of it, false hopes and dreams. And the leadership is incompetent. They don't know what the hell they're doing at all. These people cannot even accomplish what 
what newly, newly free slaves done. They cannot even accomplish that. Oh yeah, don't forget the Moors. The list goes on and on. There's probably some stuff out there. The, the Masons, the Masonic Mason. The nation of gods and earth, nation of Islam, of course. All these loser, loser thoughts and ideas that's got us nowhere. So again, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing. I just don't like hearing these lies. I just don't get these lies. Who in their right mind, who in their right mind gonna wait on a person for 2,000 years now you know good and well, if you was waiting on a cow, you'd be angry because the cow was 20 minutes late, but you're going to tell me that you're going to wait on a person, this Jesus, for 2,000 years. Really? Something is wrong. But you do call yourself children of God. So that means you have an immature mind. That means you think like a child. Because only a child would accept these things. And clearly, you're not growing up. Because nobody, nobody has to tell you that Santa Claus don't exist. As you begin to grow up, you start figuring it out. You ain't figured it out that these gods and these spirits and these demons and hell and heaven and all this nonsense that we've been taught, you ain't figured it out that this stuff is not real? The tribe of Shabazz, the mother plane, you ain't figured it out yet? This stuff is not real? Oh man. You got a rude awakening coming, man. Brothers and sisters, you got a rude awakening. On that note, let me get out of here. Uh, clearly, this God don't want to come to the live stream. And uh, like I say, if you are sensitive about your religion, you're sensitive about your spirituality, you said, this is not the place to be. It's just not. You need to go where, where, uh, where children play. Grown folks come here. We are adults here. We don't need no fairy tales. We don't need, we're not into, we're not into delusions here. <laughs> oh, Don says that God is on a dinner date in heaven. I want to talk to God's secretary. Uh, can you leave God a note? I would like for for him or her or whatever this God is. Or I don't even have to talk to God. Send, send me one of the spirits, one of, one of the deep. Hell, I don't mind talking to, to this invisible devil. I know about the white man's the devil. I'm talking about the other devil, this invisible guy. Hey, devil, I invite you to come to the live stream. <laughs> Never gonna show up. We don't do that here. Grown folks. Grown folks come here. All children, you need to pack your bags, get your lollipop and your teddy bear, and uh, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. You know, we, we still love you, but you know, grown folks here. You know. On that note, let me get out of here. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the flip. Thank you for joining me on this, uh, this spontaneous talk. I just couldn't let this one slide. These folks talking this car, because they know, they know it's a lie.
So shout out to my chat room, Rowan, Don, Twin, those who are listening, those who will be listening later. Don't mean to offend you. Don't mean to be disrespectful. But you are you are the one actually being disrespectful. You are the one who are who are making the offense because you actually think that somebody's supposed to be stupid enough to continue to believe this kind of thing. I want us to support Sister Noble Levine. Her website, ancientcreationmiss.com. Support our brother uh, Talib and brother Cuckoo uh, Koo Cutter, brother Gary. And uh, on that note, we is already 5,000. And I am going to drift off to the sunrise. <laughs> What a sunrise. Give y'all a shot at the sunrise. Yeah, that's right. Atheism. Atheism is a religion. That's the end of that. <laughs>